So, I mean, first of all, I've been doing this now for like two and a half years. So, I mean, if I scrolled back to two and a half years ago to watch some of my, my first videos, it's not seamless and it's not flawless and it's very real, but I think that's what people really like. You know, I think especially in the beauty industry, but really in any industry with television sales or social selling, people want to see real people. I think people nowadays are a little bit, um, you know, we're, we're, we're on to the Photoshop and the filters and the like 19 year old selling skin cream for 40 year olds, you know, like, it's like, you know, we, we kind of can smell that a mile away. It's refreshing for people to see authenticity and real people. One of the biggest things that was difficult for me at the beginning, which has gotten easier over time, was going on live uh, social media with no makeup on. And that was like, like I didn't, that was actually one of those things that almost made me not become a saint artist because I was like, you mean I'm going to have to demonstrate this makeup and show people what I look like without makeup on? I thought that was kind of scary. But I think by just doing that scary thing, and so many of us learn in, in these types of entrepreneurship in, like industries that you just have to take those chances and be brave and do the things that scare you because it is the things that often people will um, appreciate and are really drawn to your honesty, you know, like, I don't have the greatest skin. I have very red patchy skin. I have some sunspots that have developed over the years and I have discoloration under my eyes and that's relatable. So I think that's what the key is, is to be just yourself and be relatable.